guys, so to start off this Killer Santa makeup look, I'm first going to use this prosthetic that I got off eBay. And here I'm just going to make sure that it fits properly on my face and if it doesn't you can always cut around the edges to make sure that it does fit properly. And then I did paint it all white with my uh, Meron Clown White face paint. I then put a wig cap on so that my hair is nice and out of the way. I'm actually really bad at putting wig caps on by the way. And again I did get this wig cap from Amazon and I will link that in the info box. Um, next I'm going to be using some liquid latex by Krylin and I'm going to um, be using that to glue on the prosthetic um, to my skin but first you want to use some Vaseline to put in any areas where you have hair so that they don't get ripped off when you remove the prosthetic and yeah I did apply the liquid latex on the perimeter of the prosthetic so that I can stick that onto my skin and you just want to press on it so that it stays secure and it just stays put really So what I did with the liquid latex is I put four or five uh, layers around the perimeter so that it kind of blends to the skin because sometimes when you put prosthetics on it just looks like you do have one on. Um, so yeah I did put around four or five layers of liquid latex on the perimeter and while I was waiting for the layers to dry I did start painting my face white. I did also go in with some spirit gum um, just to glue some of the uh, areas where it weren't sticking really and that was mostly my forehead on the sides and around my nose. Whenever I'm having an issue with gluing a prosthetic to my skin, I always use spirit gum because it really does a good job at actually sticking it to your skin and it just stays there. Um, and yeah, right now I'm just painting the rest of my skin white with the Meron Clown White. And it's kind of hard to blend but I do like to use it with a sponge rather than a brush because it just seems to like um, go on much easily and I did you go down on my neck and on my jawline and on my forehead don't really need to do the mouth area because we will be wearing a beard but I just thought that I will make sure that you can't see any of my skin th showing through so that's why I decided to just go white all over and here again I'm just adding some more layers around the prosthetic so that it just blends nicely to the skin so here's the beard I was actually kind of having fun looking at myself like this I look like a fly <laughs> I feel like um, but yeah here's the wig that comes with the Santa costume that I got off eBay and I'm just going to apply that quickly and then I'm just going to apply the Santa hat as well um, Obviously, you can't have a Santa look with really the Santa hat, which is, to me, like the main thing. I then painted my ears white. If your ears are showing through and like the beard um, string is showing through, you can always take cotton wool, like fluffy cotton wool, and just glue them in some areas to hide your skin. And then I'm doing some shadowing with some black eyeshadow. I used Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in noir. And I'm just using that to go into the lines that were already present in the prosthetic. So that's the plus to the prosthetic. They already have like dents in them, which give the facial expression. So you don't actually have to do them yourself. You just have to shade them really. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to let you guys watch this part. It's just really, I'm just really following the lines on the prosthetic. Oh, and by the way, I probably will get some questions about this, but I can see through the prosthetic. It's kind of like a net mesh, and it looks like it's black, but you can actually see through it, so yeah. So here I used some of my Snazaroo black face paint dry and I um, dug my sponge in it 
and I'm just rubbing this on the beard and the white parts of the hat just to make it look really grubby and like dirty and then next I'm going to be using some bed and I uh, fresh scab and I really like this because it's very thick and it doesn't drip everywhere and it just stays put and it does eventually dry as well so I'm just applying this on the perimeter of the eye sockets just to make them look like they're bloody and they're deeper as well and also did add a lot on the beard and then just to add a little, enough, a little effect to the look I did grab a kitchen knife and added some of the uh, fresh scab onto the knife as well but yeah that's the end of this tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will have another Christmassy kind of video before Christmas which will be up on Friday but yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with all your friends and family I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye guys